Nigerians. This is how Tinubu is putting up effort to fix Nigeria. <laughs> As funny as it is, his appointee even said it. We are facing difficulties and challenges, not our making. <laughs> we inherited a very bad situation. Good. You need to watch this video to the end and help me share it to any Nigerian you know. Akada Mama. <laughs>
of making the lives of Nigerian people miserable. What a shame. Men without honor. That is what we have in this country. Now you are here condemning Buhari's government that you inherited a very bad um, situation created or magnified, created by PDP, magnified by APC government, and now being consolidated by this one you call Tinubu's illegitimate government. I will continue saying that until the court says otherwise. Even if they say otherwise, we know what the outcome will be. No, tell me. When Buhari was giving Nigerians shege, you said you are going to continue and extend or even how to do him. Now you are doing exactly the same thing. Or even much by bringing Shege Banza. Before we even say Jack Robinson, you have introduced Shege Banza Promas. And that is where we are today. You are going out there to convince the NLC to adjust and have patience with the government that did not even have any patience to fix the economy and start asking for bigger salaries. The same government under two months started asking for bigger salaries despite having a massive wealth, primitive wealth they have accumulated, the wealth they don't need at the expense of Nigerians, yet you are asking for, you are asking Nigerians to continue sacrificing, to continue being the sacrificial lamb. Tell me, you, Rebadu, if you are placed on the salary of an average Nigerian civil servant, will you survive under the Nigerian economy? All of you ministers, all of you political appointees, and even elected ones, the senators, the house of rep, the governors, if you are placed on the salary, that you are paying other people in the same economy, will you survive? We're no longer talking about you going abroad to, you know, for your medical, for your schools, uh, for your children's schools, for anything, even shopping, everything. Some of you go to the toilet abroad and come back to Nigeria. To be honest with you, these guys have taken Nigerians to, to the elastic limit. And it go break. It go break. And when he break loose, none of them go escape him. Because now from inside your house, they go to pursue you, come outside. Because even those who are working under you are passing through hell. You are getting man. You are gardeners. You are cook. You are personnel. Even you are guard. They are passing through hell. And the hunger, they reach them. No matter what. No matter the crumbs that falls from your table. How about their children? What about their medical? What about their other needs? So, <laughs> all of them can hide and can lie, but it is just about a matter of time. Judgment will catch up on all of them. Look at the situation of things. Take home salary cannot take somebody home. And you are here, your name Patashe, and saying, I'm blaming Buhari government, your own government, of which this one that calls himself president, Occupying Asorok was the party leader of the same government. Now he's not trying to blame, blame and blame and blame and blame upon. Is that what we came here to do? Doesn't he know that the economy was bad before he came in? Well, nobody to talk too much. But now for Nigerians to understand, say these guys they take order for granted. And that because we are very tolerant, very religious people. The next video will address it. Don't forget to share these videos to any Nigerian, anyone you are getting from, because what we are saying here is the kind of truth you cannot hear anywhere. And we are raising the consciousness of Nigerians to rise up and save themselves, free themselves from the impunity of this country, from the colonizers of this country in the name of your political leaders or misleaders. Help me share this video to every Nigerian if you believe in this message. Let them wake up before it is too late. Bye-bye for now.